gonna address the PhDs out there and the fucking YouTube critics and everybody in between who seems to have an issue with me telling people to roll their knees in on a leg extension because they think I literally mean to like anatomically roll your knees together which is like obviously impossible guys so it's like it's a fucking cue right it's not like I'm literally telling you to roll your knees together how could you ever do that but the thing is like what we're trying to do what I'm trying to tell people when they do leg extensions is to put pressure all the pressure on their shin so my feet aren't tight and I'm not all jacked in my feet and tense and like pushing against this thing where I have creating this like tight chain all the way up my leg. Basically this tight chain will push into my patella and pull on my quad, right? So I'm tight here. So when you see people demonstrate their, their extension, a lot of the time it's this. It's like, just get the thing to the top and like up here is where the squeeze is only. So this high pie position where you guys kick to is where you feel the contraction and the rest of it's just fucking nothing, right? So it's like a deadlift for leg extension. So there's no negative, right? So the idea is to create this tension of my shin pressure so I can even ease off of here and I can feel my quad catching now. So I don't feel the shearing in my knee where I'm pushing out from my knee and driving through my knee to flex my quad. I feel the pressure on my shin already and my quad jumping. So I'm already engaged in my quad by just squeezing my quad and pushing against my shin. So now the tension shifted to just here and my shin. My foot's dead. There's no tension in my feet. I'm holding the weight up. I can still wiggle my feet because I have tension in my shin and my quad. So when I tell people to roll their knees in, it's a cue in the sense that if I want to fully extend my leg from here, I need to bring these legs together and flex out my quad. So my quad flexes out if I turn in. So if I roll that knee inward more, because it's not moving, because this is my knee, but I'm gonna roll my quads. So my knee never moved, but I'm trying to smash these two quads together to extend up into the seat, to sit down in the seat. So I can lock out here. So I can hold tension on the way down by relaxing my legs, letting my quad relax and my hamstring relax. Because all you guys out there fucking tense up in your hip flexor, and get all tense here and fucking kick out, kick out, and it's all hip flexor. There's no hip flexor with what we're doing. That's why you see these guys and girls dying on leg extensions because they're being taught to keep tension at the lowest point, not trap it up here. So all you guys doing this, you're like, I can't roll my knees in like that. What's he talking about? Or you're gonna hurt yourself. It's like, guys, I'm not literally saying that. And for you to think that, like you might need to look in the mirror and think about what you're fucking thinking about, right? It's a cue so that I'm trying to keep my quads relaxed. So, cause if my quads are here and I'm tight, I'm hip flexor and I'm hamstring. Whereas if I relax and I just mush down on my hamstring and relax my hip flexors, I can push my quad. I can push my shin, sorry, and I can grab my quad. So I can just roll through. In order for me to get full extension, my legs have to converge. They have to roll over my quad. So that feeling in the mind to trigger people is thinking that you're turning your knees in. It's a movement you'll never be able to do, but it's a cue to be like, oh, I'm gonna bring my legs in. Because my knees don't ever move. If you watch from here, they don't roll in. They're not flopped out and, rop and ripping in like this. It's my knees are here and I'm out. I'm just not rocking on hip flexor and doing this shit and locking out and flexing off hip flexor, right? So it's making the connection to your shin, relaxing your foot, so we don't have a shearing force on your patella. Because guys will tell you, is the reason why I got Regan to start doing it this way and other guys to do this way, because they have knee pain, right? Because they'd be so tense doing this movement, because they'd be hip flexors dominant, and they'd be foot cocked. You see their foot completely cocked, so my foot's cocked up, and my patella's now engaged like crazy because my foot, my foot positioning is so tight, it's not relaxed. Therefore, I'm shortening my tibia. So it's like I'm trying to eliminate that by relaxing here and just putting pressure on shin. So like it's literally like I'm, I'm kicking a soccer ball. When I kick a soccer ball, I wouldn't go and kick the fucking thing, right? I just kick it through my shin. 
I wouldn't engage my whole leg and I would be kicking, right? So it's the same analogy here. It's like we're equating things to other movements. And we're not literally saying that I want you to roll your knees in, guys. Like the amount of times I've had to address that or I've seen that comment on YouTube, it's like, I wanna blow my brains out. Like people will nitpick at you to try and find holes in what you do. But it's like, if you're gonna nitpick at what I do and find holes in what I do, one, thanks for watching already. Two, feel free to stop watching anytime and like give your head a shake because there's cues and there's different words that are being said that are like trying to get someone to think in their mind of how to move while they're in the motion, right? You're sitting back on your couch or at your computer on your phone and you're hearing the cue, oh, roll your knees in. This guy's crazy. It's like, go try it. Go try what we just talked about and tell me that you don't feel more of your quad and you don't feel just quad and tell me that your hip, your hip flexor stops doing the work, which it will. Because that's the purpose of a leg extension is to, fire, is to fire quad. It's not to get as tense as I can in my hip flexor and just start rocking with heavy weight and hope that the action of me doing the movement will create stimulation. Because that's not what this is. And that's what we've been getting at the whole time. It's not about getting the weight from A to B. I, who cares if you can do the whole stack of leg extensions? Not, not one of these guys in here, Antoine, Quentin, Regan, some of the best legs in bodybuilding, not any of them can do the whole stack the way we do the whole, the way we do that. And look how big their legs are. Look how much stimulation they have. Zero knee pain, zero problems this year with their legs because they're moving correctly and they're sitting on muscle. We're not moving off joint. We're not moving off hinge points like our fucking hip flexor, right? So like if you guys are doing this and you're moving the whole stack, and you're like, well, my legs aren't as big as Antoine's. There's probably a reason for that because the weight and how much weight you're doing isn't equating to growth guys, because you're not stimulating. You're not connecting with the muscle. You're not engaging and you're not moving just on muscle. You're pinning on joints, locking down on areas like your hip flexor like this, or for bench people locking down on their shoulders and traps and you're just moving weight. And you think that arbitrarily, moving more weight will equate to that body part getting bigger but you're so lost it's not even funny like you're completely lost you're on another planet 